project commenced, we had so little to go on. There were no blueprints, uh, no engineering drawings. Uh, we had just a couple of photographs, a, an advertisement and an article, and, and that's all we had to, to go with. Um, so for the engineers, creating a motor bicycle that was 120 years old in effect was uh, quite a challenge. So after the challenge had come out from Gordon, it was a great opportunity to go back in time, go back in history and actually understand Royal Enfield's DNA. Well, it was certainly a daunting task that we were given. Um, usually the process we take is to go and look at other similar motorcycles or if you're making a reproduction, ideally go and measure the, the original. But in this case, there, there was none. This frame, we're trying to replicate something, so it, it involves a different approach to it. If we were building a, this, this bike from scratch, we'd just simply make it. We wouldn't be copying anything. We'd make it how we wanted to. But the real difficulty here is trying to replicate and uh, honor the, the craftsmanship that went into the original bike. Uh, when we started, we thought we understood what we needed to do, but of course our engineers are used to modern techniques, current day engineering. And what we found we needed was to get into the mindset of those pioneers of 1901. The only way you can make a tank like this is with the 100 year old soldering irons. I was left with these tools, this tank, and, uh, and then I had to learn the technique for uh, soldering the seams. It's the only way to work on these bikes. You can't use modern production methods. They, they thought at 60 mile an hour you might not breathe and you might die. It was, it was rocket science of the day. So after months and months of work, we finally got it together. But the big question is, will it run? And will it ride well? Because it's one thing to bench test an engine and know that it will tick over, but to actually run as part of a, 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 a complete motorcycle or motor bicycle is, is, is a big unknown. project's taken us right back to the very origin of Royal Enfield. 120 years that DNA has been carried forward and you can see it's there and you can see what it means to us and you can see what it means to our riders. 120 years of pure motorcycling. It's important on many levels but it's important for the engineers at the UK and Indian technical centres and for the team at Harris to be able to do something that connects back with this really important heritage that Royal Enfield has. And I hope that if they're looking down on us, those gentlemen, uh, engineers and designers of 120 years ago and see what we've now achieved today, I hope they're really proud. In order to know where you're going, you've got to know where you've come from, and that is Project Origin.